Where are you from? I'm from Palo Alto, California. What was your first break? Um, I, right out of grad school, I did an episode of The Newsroom on HBO. I think that was my first break. <laughs> what have you been in? Um, I've been on Shameless, The Librarians, um, and I'm going to be on the new prison break that's starting in a few days. <laughs> How do you feel about this career? Um, it's, it's tough, but when it's good, it's the most rewarding and exciting and fun um, thing that you could ever possibly do with your life. <laughs> How did you decide to become an actor? It's always something that I did. When I was little, I'd put on plays in my, my parents' den, um, and I sort of <laughs> enslaved my brothers to make set pieces, and, and they would go on strike, so then I would just do the play with like stuffed animals. <laughs> so it's something I've always been doing. How would you describe your specialty or type? Um, <laughs> I, I, something that's been cool about my career so far is I've played so many different kinds of characters, so I don't know what that is yet. Hopefully I'll find that out soon. <laughs> who is your favorite actor who you look up to? Um, I, I got to work with Alfred Molina on a film, um, uh, like about a year ago, and he, his career is someone that is, is one that I really admire because he goes sort of effortlessly from theater to film to TV and he's really prolific but the caliber of his projects are always so so good and he's so kind I think that's that was the biggest takeaway for me he's like very generous um, and really professional and I aspire to be like that what would your ideal job be um, right now I'm really interested in roles that um, center Arab Americans and Muslim Americans, that's my background, in a way um, that's humanizing and relatable. I feel like a lot of times, and I'm totally guilty of this too, um, a lot of times the roles we play, the roles I play are like very villainous um, or menacing and that's not really who I am as a person and it's not really any Muslim or Arab American people that I know, so I really want to see um, I see us represented in a more human way. So I want to play a role like that. I don't know what that is. I probably am going to have to write it. <laughs> Do you consider yourself to be lucky? Yeah. Yeah. I also work really hard. <laughs> but yeah, I think I've been, I've been lucky. What advantages do you have? Um, I have never been hungry before. I'm like a male, <laughs> uh, I'm, I guess, a light-skinned person of color, I feel like those are all privileges, I'm like very educated, um, I'm able-bodied, I don't know if that was <laughs> answering your question. <laughs> Would you rather have a car or a diploma? Uh, a diploma, because then you can learn how to build a car. <laughs> What do you think about the need for instant gratification? Um, I think it's sort of a false thing. I think, at least for me, part of the excitement of my profession or also like pursuing things I want is, is the struggle and is the process. So I think things would sort of lose, lose meaning if we got them all instantly. I value the, the struggle and the process. How do you feel about how interconnected the world is becoming? I think it's really exciting on a social justice level um, that people are able to organize. But I think that's a double-edged sword. I think people can sometimes organize for nefarious things too. Um, so I think as long as we maintain human contact and are able to still communicate to each other with each other on a human level, um, and can sort of keep the inter like realize that the internet is um, something that's not completely real. Um, then I think it's great. I think it's a huge benefit to our lives. What does the future <laughs> look like to you? Uh, the future is female. <laughs> How do you feel about having children? I don't have children. Oh, uh, <laughs> I was like, do I have children? Did I forget about them? Um, I think I would like them someday to have them. 
What challenges do you feel the world is facing today? Uh, I think there's a breach in in love. I think there's a lot of misunderstanding and hate. Um, but I think if there's a silver lining to what's going on in our country, it's that people are becoming more compassionate and are beginning to sort of wake up and become more engaged politically. What are you most grateful for? Oh man. Um, I would say my mom, she's always been very supportive of me sort of no matter what, even when she didn't understand um, certain things, she was like always unconditionally supportive. What is your favorite way to communicate? Uh, <laughs> winking, no. Um, I think face to face, like having, sitting down and having like a bottle of wine with some food with a, with a person. What is your favorite <laughs> book, film, and music right now? Um, book, The Invisible Man by Ralph Ellison, hands down, is my favorite book of all time. Um, movie, Moonlight, I can't stop thinking about it. I've watched it so many times. Um, piece of music, I've been getting really into Diana Ross, two albums by Diana Ross that I sort of rediscovered. The first one is um, The Boss, and the second one is, I think it's called Diana. And I, it just came up on my computer one day, and then I've just been blasting it and dancing in my underwear in my apartment to it. Yes. <laughs>